What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a really cool tweak that's in beta right now so you can check this out for yourself for free. Just go ahead and add the repo that I'm putting on the screen right now. I'll also put it in the link in the description below so you guys can just copy and paste it. But this is actually really cool. It's called Appalancy. I believe that's how you uh, pronounce it. But what this does is allow you to use facial recognition to unlock your device. So that's really cool and it does it in a really cool way. So you can see here if we go into the settings and I'll show you the settings panel before we actually jump into the uh, actual app. You can see that we have a kill switch so you can enable or disable this. You can also disable for notification alert. So if the screen turns on for a notification it will disable Appalency until you turn the screen back on. Also down here you can disable when notifications so if you have any pending notifications then it's not going to unlock your device until the notifications are dismissed. Also down here you have only start on swipe so that means when it's enabled it's not going to start when the passcode view becomes active so that's usually by swiping so it's going to help with the lag. So this is actually really cool and I'm going to show you if we swipe over here now it doesn't even have a uh, icon just yet because like I said this is in beta. But if we go ahead and open this up, you can see, well, first of all, it just crashed right there because it was uh, taking my picture previously. So right here we have two separate albums. One, which I have added, which is Cody, and that's just pictures of me. And the second right here is Deny. Now this automatically comes with the tweet. So for the Deny album right here, these are people that you do not want to get into your device. So you would just open this up. And you can see right there it gives you a little pop-up just telling you that you don't want this person to get into your device. And then all you need to do is tap start and you can scan the people that you want Appalancy to learn from and deny. You can switch. This is just switching the front facing and back facing camera. And if we go back here and we go into my images, if we tap on this, you can see that you get instructions right here. So what you want to do as the pop-up says is move it around to show different angles of your face because you're not necessarily going to be looking at your device the exact same way every time you try to unlock it or you uh, wake it up from sleep. So we're just going to tap OK. So once you tap start, you can see right up here at the top that what you want to do is just move this around to get all different angles of your face because you're not necessarily going to be looking at it in the exact same angle every single time. So you want to be able to uh, let the camera or the tweak know that it's you unlocking the device. So this has actually worked really well for me. I've tried it multiple times and it automatically unlocks. I mean it's almost instantaneously and that's really cool. So once you're done just go ahead and hit stop or it should automatically finish once you reach the 10 uh, picture mark and then you can see we can go back to people. You can tap on this little button down here that says recognize and it says starting camera and when you tap recognize you can put your face on the camera and then see if it actually recognizes you with a green box that means it recognizes you or a red box meaning it doesn't recognize you. So if we go back to the home screen here and I put my face, you can see it automatically unlocked. I didn't have to do anything else. So this facial recognition is actually pretty awesome. Automatically unlocks and it's that quick. I mean it is extremely quick, pretty accurate. Now I haven't had a chance to actually test this on uh, other people to see if it automatically unlocks for them as well. But I can say that this is in beta stages. There's obviously going to be some bugs. There's going to be some glitches. But I can tell you that it works with me 100% of the time. So really, I'm just anxious to see what you guys think about this new tweak. It's actually pretty cool in my opinion. And I'm looking forward to the initial release. Now, the beta is actually going to expire on April 1st of this year. So you got a little bit of time to mess with this and check it out and see what you think and see if you want to purchase it once it's readily available in Cydia. So if you want to check this tweak out, then make sure that you add the repo in the description below and then go ahead and set it up just like I showed you and then let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'm really anxious to hear what you guys think about it. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.